From the greenhouse to the brew house, Southerly has created the first ever all Texas pale ale with ingredients from our own area and hops from a farm in Somerset. RJ Marcus takes us behind the scenes at Southerly to show us how it all came together and why this brew has been years in the making. It's tonight's SA Spirits. <laughs> Our unicorn here that we chased was the hops, and we finally had lab-tested grown hops about 20 minutes south of town in Somerset. It's been quite a journey to get these hops into the hands of Les Locke, the head brewer at Southerly at the Pearl. For years, Locke was on a mission to brew the first ever pale ale made with all Texas ingredients. But growing hops, a key ingredient in pale ales, is tricky in the Texas climate. So he teamed up with Hop Farm Hanks Hops to create Texas Born and Bread. The hops are hydroponically grown in a greenhouse. The first harvest was ready in April. Southerly was the first to use the hops in their brew, but the hops aren't the only key ingredient. Texas Born and Bread is truly all about the Lone Star State. It includes malts from Will Dorado, Texas, and yeast from right up the road in New Braunfels. So once the ingredients were in, it was all about getting the right taste combination. The Born and Bread is a throwback to old school pale ales with hints of citrus, pine, and malt sweetness. It's so fresh. The hops are very aromatic, uh, and I think that's the first thing that hits them. And then the hops, the, 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 the linger, the aroma lingers on their palate for many minutes after they drink it. Southerly began serving the Born and Bread about a week ago, and they're already having trouble keeping up with customer demand. A beer born in the Lone Star State and made for Texas beer fans. Wow, this is really good. For the Nine, RJ Marquez. If you would like to see some of the other distillers and brewers that we have featured in our SA Spirit series, just head to ksat.com slash news at 9.